Here we are working on a Mueller Systems ball shaper. This unit cuts via a spindle inside the housing spherical shapes out of plastic. Here we have a table that is controlled by a Tolematic servo motor, which is our problem. The fault's out when the table tries to move back and forth and move the piece in position at the spindle head in here. So we are going to remove the servo motor, take a look inside and fix the issue. Here we have the Tolomatic servo motor in a disassembled state. We have found the failure, which is inside, on this feedback device here. This is a gradical disc that rides inside the sensor for positioning. And as you can see here, we can get a good glimpse of the damage. Uh, some sort of bearing failure or jarring occurred, and you can see actually the line states on the disc, and there you can see it in the light. The line states on the disc are very badly gouged. We are going to have to replace this, rebuild the servo motor, and reinstall and test. We now have our air supply hooked up, as well as power to the machine. And we have reinstalled our servo motor in the back, and this will run the table in and out, hopefully. So we will do our first cycle test of the unit. What we will have to do is once we set the spindle on and get it to a jog position, we are going to have to, um, these are the finger sensors that both must be depressed in order to allow us to run a full cycle on the machine. So we will go ahead and do this. All right, now we have the spindle running. And that is the cutting part of this device. And now we will see if we can run a cycle. And there you have it. It appears that the table is now moving in and out at the desired speed and cycle. There, we just repeated another cycle of the instrument. This machine is now fixed. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.